Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on uh, swimming pool. Uh, this, in effect, is a supplement to what I did earlier for an IGCSE uh, question. Now, I'm trying to use a, a calculus to try and achieve the same result. Now, what we've got here is a swimming pool and it says uh, what we want to find is the rate at which the depth of water changes with time. Now, the swimming pool is filled in at a constant rate of 50 liters per minute. And we we're also told that one meter cubed is equivalent to 1,000 liters. Now, you can see from this, from the diagram here, that the swimming pool can be divided into two sections, section A and section B. Now, what I've done here is to enlarge section B, and that's section B there. Now, you can see in section B that we've got uh, two similar triangles. The bigger triangle, YZM, and, and the smaller triangle, EFM. So, moving on from there, we want to find the volume of section B, of, the, of this triangular prism, section B. Now, the volume will be a half times depth at any given time times the times p which is from e to m so that's depth and that's p there now we want to express p in terms of d and to do that we look at similar triangles uh, we now consider similar triangles um, yzm and efm Now, using ratios, now yz, which is the length of the this length here, yz over e f, which is the length of the smaller triangle, is equal to zm, which is the depth of the uh, bigger triangle, and sorry, zm is the height of the bigger triangle divided by fm, which is the depth or the height of the smaller triangle. So we know that yz is 9 and p we don't know and we know that fm zm is 1 okay so 9 over p is equal to 1 over d and p is now 9d we now replace the p here with 9d okay. now moving on from that we then have that V is equal to half times D times 9D times W, W being the width of the swimming pool. Now, that gives us V is equal to a half W times 9D squared. If we then differentiate both sides, we have that DV by DT is equal to a half times 10, 10 being the width of the swimming pool, times 9D sorry times 9 times 2 the d d over dt because when you differentiate 9d squared in this case is the implicit differentiation we have that uh, we have 2d d d over dt okay uh, that means that a, a d over dt is a half 180 d d over dt uh, which means 9d over dt is 90 d d d over dt okay now we know that dv by dt is 50 liters per minute, minute because the swimming, the swimming pool is being filled at the rate of 50 liters per minute there. And to change that to meters cubed per minute, that becomes 1 over 20 meters cubed per minute. We don't need this anyway, but it's given to us. We have to use it anyway. We have to use it. Okay? So moving on from that, we end up with uh, 120 is equal to 90 d dv by dt. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. All right, that then becomes 1 over 1800 equal to d, d divided dt. So, d, d over dt is equal to 1 over 1800 d, which means that d is inversely proportional to d divided dt, or if you like, 1 over d is proportional to d, d over dt. Okay. Um, that is the first slide. Now, next slide. In this slide, we're going to look at the um, 
the um, cuboid, in this case, section A. Like, we look at section A from the first slide. So looking at section A, uh, if we just, uh, just div, um, label all the points there, that's what we got. So that's section A from the first slide. You remember, that's section A. Okay. So as before, we're going to look at, we're trying to find the, uh, the volume of water at any given time. Volume of water when the depth is D. So the volume of this cuboid is going to be uh, V is equal to 15 times 10 times D. Again, 10 being the width of the swimming pool and 15 being the length of the cuboid itself. So now, if we then differentiate both sides, we have that dv over dt is equal to 150 dd over dt. Okay. Now don't forget that the resuming pool is being filled in at the constant rate of uh, 15 liters per minute or what about 20 meters cubed per minute there. Okay. So the the rate at which the swimming pool is filled up is proportional to the, the change in the depth of water at any given time, dd by dt. Okay. So now, if we combine section A and section B, section B, if you remember, is this bit here as section B. If we then combine section A and section B, so we're looking at the cuboid and the triangular prism, so the swimming pool consists of, is, is made up of a cuboid and a triangular prism. So what we then have is a graph like this one here. Now, this is graph C from the actual, now you need to have watched the first video to understand what's going on here. Because we are presented with several graphs to show which graph coincides with filling in of the swimming pool. And graph C is the graph we require. So I note that in this graph here, that the time interval between, say, um, time one and time two, the depth of increase in the depth of water is greater than the depth of increase in the depth of water between times two and time three. So this one here is the depth of increase in the depth of water between times one and time two is greater than the depth of increase between times one, between times two and time three, which confirms that as the depth of water increases, the change in the depth of water at any given time gets smaller. Now, I hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.